short sales are super, super awesome because there's several exit strategies. Um, they're low hanging fruit. You get, you can buy a list online of all the people. It's public records of who's about to get foreclosed on. So that's super simple to get leads. They give you the address. Most of the time, people live in the house, so they're easy to contact, right? Howie, we're, we're, yeah. when we're hunting properties, we want to find the owner, right? Biggest thing we want to do. They're motivated. They don't really care about the house. And by the way, another huge positive or plus for us is they don't care about the price, what, what, you're, what price you're buying it for. Because it doesn't matter. They already know they have no equity. So the price is not even... Uh, uh, even a situation. In fact, all you need to do is show them how you can help them, and then you get to negotiate with the bank, who has its own set <coughs> of problems and issues and concerns, and what you know that's not the same as as a regular seller. So um, it's really a very powerful, powerful strategy because of that. Remember, the closer they are to the sale date, the more motivated they are, right? Mm -hmm. Or they should be anyway. I've seen all kinds of things, but they should be. Oh, my God, you're going to maybe lose your house next Tuesday. We should get together into the paperwork today. By the way, I can guarantee we can stop the sale. Let me just show you guys how we do that, too.